So why are some people more susceptible to cancer or Alzheimer's and other diseases than others? Knowing how our genes factor into illnesses could hold the key to diagnosing, treating, even preventing certain health problems. Yeah, that is the goal behind a National Institutes of Health research program called All of Us and Scripps Research here in San Diego playing a big role in that project. Joining us now is researcher Dr. Julia Moore-Vogel, director of the Participant Center at Scripps Research. Welcome. Thanks for having me. So what exactly is All of Us and how has Scripps contributed to that? Sure, so it's really uh, an opportunity for any adult to contribute to medical breakthroughs. And so what's really unique about it is, you know, we don't want your money. All we want is for you to share information about yourself your health information and your health story and your family history can help empower thousands of research studies across the country. So over 400,000 people across the U.S. have already decided to join and share their health information. And what Scripps does to help is make it possible for people all across the country to share their information by having uh, the, the participation available online and sharing the word about the program throughout a number of different partners. Dr. Moore, we understand that collecting uh, from a variety of people is important. Who is participating and who can participate? Absolutely. So any adult, uh, anyone over 18 is eligible to participate. And we've seen, you know, a really amazing response from the community. We've focused on making sure that the cohort is representative of the United States as a whole. And one important goal that we set was to have at least 50% of individuals identifying as non-white or, you know, racial ethnic minority groups. And we've reached that goal. And we've also set a goal of having 80% folks that are historically underrepresented in biomedical research. So so in addition to racial and ethnic minorities, that includes folks with low educational attainment or socioeconomic status, folks in rural areas who aren't near hospitals that classically do enrollment. And um, you know, if anyone's interested in enrolling, they can go to go.joinallofus.org. That's the website with all the information. Oh, that's really good to know. So can you give us a timeline for this program in terms of like what the milestones will be, how long it will last, and how is the data already being used and how will it be used? Sure. So for an individual participant, what you do when you first join is you go through a consent process. That's where we tell you everything about what your participation can involve. Um, each part of it is optional, but it just gives you information about how your information will be used to help you make the decision about whether you want to join. Once you decide to join, you go through some surveys to share information about yourself, you know, your basic demographic information, share about your health, and your lifestyle, different things that you do to try to stay healthy. Also your family's health history, that's really um, important context. The next thing you have the option to do is share your electronic health records, which shares you know, what you've done at the doctor and how that has affected your health, providing more information for researchers. And then you have the option to share even samples from yourself. So. You can have a saliva kit that gets mailed to your home that DNA can be extracted from, or you can have um, blood drawn and urine collected through our local partner at San Diego Blood Bank. And so you can actually also do that during a blood donation appointment if you wanna do a blood donation and the All of Us collection at the same time. So if you share either of those biosample types, you get information back about yourself, which we're really excited to be returning. So that includes um, you know, your ancestry, different traits like lactose intolerance or alcohol alcohol flush response, and also factors about your genetics that could make you predisposed to specific diseases. And then finally, also information about how you metabolize different drugs. So it could tell you there's a medication that you really shouldn't take because you could have a bad side effect, or there's a medication that you might need a different dose than the average person. And then to get to your second question about how the data is used, one thing that's really unique about this program is that we've made the data available to researchers all across the country to study all different diseases. So there are already over a thousand research projects ongoing and the, the data resource is um, collected so that lots of different diseases can be studied. So a lot of studies just look at one disease, but this allows your information to be used across all this right now a thousand, but we hope in the future many thousands of different studies to to inform um, you know medical breakthroughs is what we hope will happen. It sounds fascinating. We enjoy looking forward to uh, following it. Dr. Julia Moore Vogel, all of us, the program director at Scripps Research, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.